This video starts a series of tutorials on how to use Mongoose OS with Seed Studio Growth Kit. Uh, one cool feature about the Growth Kit is that it has hardware components which do not require soldering. So uh, here we have an ESP8266 Node MCU board connected to my laptop, uh, a base shield. I'm going to show you how to use a button component. So here is the setup. A button component is connected to slot D8 and a slot D8 it's marked as a pin 8 here on the back and it's connected with the yellow connector to GPIO pin 5. So let's find a ESP8266 pin out and so we can see that the GPIO 5 is this here okay and uh, and the base shield is powered by uh, the red and and black uh, connectors coming from ground and vcc so what we do next we uh we go and we install uh vanilla mongoose os on esp8266 so type mos flash mos dash esp8266 installed and now type MOS without any argument and we've got to the UI wizard. We don't need a wizard, just click on advanced mode and click on init.js file. So what default init.js does, it sets up a timer and toggles the built-in blue GPIO every second. So what we are going to do, we connect this button and we'll blink this uh, LED on the button press. So first, well, let's take a look at the API growth.js and see what is the button inter interface. So growth button attach and it takes the pin and the handler. All right, so get back to init.js, delete that timer. instead load api growth.js and call grow button attach so the pin is 5 and the handler so it's pin number 5 and in the handler we are going to call gpio toggle pin save and reboot click on a button and now we can see when we press on the button the blue LED blinks